the Civil War Collectible Channel. My name is Steve Munson and I am the Civil War Guru. Well today we got something for you special. And this actually is a little after the Civil War. But what we have here is a Custer, as in General Custer, carbine of the Indian War fame. This is a model 1873 Springfield carbine. And this is the carbine that they took into the Battle of the Little Bighorn. These things were made famous through the Battle of the Little Bighorn. Now there's several, several models of Springfield carbines. But this is the first model. This is the model 1873. There's some unique features on the first model 1873. And there's things that will indicate that this is a first model and I'll show you what those are. Now on the 73 Springfield carbine the value is depicted in the serial number range so if you have a pre July 1876 Springfield they put it in what we call the Custer period serial number range. But then there's the Custer carbines that are actually in the range that the ones have been proven to be used by Custard. Picked off the battlefield, recaptured by the Indians, and that this is what one of these, or this is what this particular gun is. First thing we're going to talk about the 73 is when you cock the hammer back on the Custard period, two clicks. Later period, three. The next thing you want to look for on a Custard period carbine is when you open the breech block up, the 73 has the high hump here, which the later ones don't have that, that type of hump in it. So that's number two. Number three is the sights. And this has the first model, long range sights on it, and of course the standard blade sight. And another thing we want to look for on a Custer carbine is of course the serial numbers. They are blocked right there. This particular serial number on this gun is 17,556. But after the battle they went up and picked up all the broken guns because the Indians carried off the good ones. And they kept good records. And then as the Indians were captured and put back on the reservation and as they surrendered and went back to the reservation up until the 1880s they would log guns in that they took away from the Indians. So there's been several of the 17,000 serial number range that have been recaptured or picked up off the battlefield and they end up on both sides of this particular serial number. So that indicates these things were shipped out west in crates of 10s and 20s and when the 7th Cavalry started into battle in the warehouses and at the fort there were 639 Springfield 73 carbines in inventory. So we know that with guns as low as 17,425 been picked up and as high as 17,000 895 that had been recovered from the battle. So we are almost assured that this particular gun was used at the Battle of the Big Horn. Now scientifically they can prove it. You can ship this particular gun to the Little Big Horn Museum and for a fee of $10,000 they will fire a cartridge through it then they will scientifically deduce if this gun was at the Battle of the Little Big Horn. The value of the Custard range guns start at anything made prior to July of 1876 in average condition they start around $2,500 and they go up to $3,500, $4,500, $5,500 depending on condition. But then we get into the range where you have a few numbers off here, a few numbers off there, guns on both sides of a particular serial number, it takes it to a different level. 
you can take it up to the $25,000 range. And then the guns that are actually beyond a shadow of a doubt, 100% proven to have been at the Battle of Little Bighorn, they'll value you into the $100,000 range. And that is almost astonishing, but, but that is what the value has been established on a custard used carbine. This particular carbine, if you look at the overall condition, is exactly what you would expect to find on a custard period carbine. Normally, if it was in inventory and at the fort, and if there was any problems, they would send it back to Springfield and they would adjust or fix or modify. And most of the custard period carbines have had alterations to them. But this particular carbine has had no alterations. Other than I, I suspect the front barrel band because I'm under the impression it would have had a sling, uh, a rack uh, sling underneath of it, but that's not necessarily true. This barrel band looks like it's been on there forever. But there are no modifications on this. None. So that's another great indication that this gun was used and never returned back to the fort. And to me, I think it was a captured gun. But at this point today, we're going to consider this gun in the $25,000 value range. But for me, this is exciting. You never get a chance to own or even touch an original custard gun. Also on display with it is the uh, Mills cartridge belt. And this is also what they would have wore at the Battle of Little Bighorn. This is the early model. And of course, I've laid out a 4570 cartridge out there so you can see what they look like. So for me today this is a lot of fun to have an experience to even evaluate a 73 Springfield in the Custer period. So from the Civil War Guru, have a great day. Thank you.